Drew McCoy, defensive lineman. I'm the guy. We're standing in the Fortress of Solitude. Some of these are worth a million dollars. Arnold Schwarzenegger's freeze gun. Chill. So we're going to get a karaoke machine. We specialize in only karaoke. I'm looking for something bigger. OK, this is Gerald level karaoke. You mind if I sing a little bit? I should have been on Dance with the Stars. Gerald McCoy, defensive lineman. I'm the superhero guru. You think I don't have all access to DC Comics? Of course I have all access. We're going to go in here. We're going to have a great time. After this, we're going to get a karaoke machine. Let's go have some fun. Check out this lobby. I just want to point something out. We're standing basically in the Fortress of Solitude. The Fortress of Solitude, if you don't know, is where Superman lives. Yeah, you got all the different lanterns right here. I mean, look at these suits. Christian Bale actually wore this suit. I mean, this was from the Dark Knight Rises, and he really wore this, man. It's, it's crazy. I wonder if this is the one he got his back broke by Bane in. I would love to have a Batman suit. You know how cool it'll be to walk in on game day dressed as Batman? 6'5 Batman walking into a stadium. <laughs> yeah, good luck. I relate to Batman's because if you look at my combine, I wasn't the fastest, I wasn't the strongest, I didn't jump the highest. Similar to Batman in the Justice League, he doesn't technically have any superpowers, but he can go neck and neck with any superhero that you can name, man. And it's because he's the smartest guy in the room, he outprepares anybody, and he has a contingency plan for anything. And then he just works his tail off, man, and he's fearless. All right, let's take a walk through the office. This is just a cool hallway. Oh, hey. hi, Joe. Welcome. What's up, man? I'm Benjamin LeClaire. Welcome to the library. Thank you. Thanks for having me, man. So this is the main display case here at the library archives. And you can see it's the history of comic books and the history of superheroes. Anything catch your eye? From a consumer standpoint, <laughs> how valuable are these comics? Some of these are worth uh, in replacement costs, uh, close to a million dollars. A million dollars? We don't have a price on this one. There's only three copies of this left in the world. It's an ash can for Action Comics. It's even older than Superman. It's where we registered the trademark. So some of these we really can't put a price. Now this isn't our only display case. If you're a Batman fan, we gotta take a look at this over here. Let's see what you got. Wait, hold up. <laughs> yeah? Is that a Catwoman whip? Yes, that is Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman whip. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> that's Michelle? Yes. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the only prop we have. Now, you see behind it is something that's really heavy. Most movie props are really lightweight, but we knew Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to use this, so this is his freeze gun. No way. Yes, built for Arnold. Man, that's cool. I present to you Arnold's freeze gun. Freeze, everybody. Chill. 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 I remember that scene, because it's just, I mean, it's Arnold. How much you want for this good? I can't part with it. It's the last one I got. <laughs> All right, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll let you keep it. <laughs> okay. That's fine. This is the last one. I appreciate you having me, man. This has been wonderful. I guess I'll get out of it's here. It's a pleasure. Enjoy. Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, y'all seen it. We got to see the Fortress of Solitude. You got to see the Green Lantern floor, the archives. Let's head out. Pew, 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 pew. We all rolling. Warren Sapp was my favorite, favorite player growing up. I wore 99 in Little League and um, always been my favorite football player. I knew he was dominant, so that's all I wanted to be. I just wanted to be a a good D-lineman. I want to tackle people like Warren Sapp, and I, you know, I want to run out to people and slam them like Warren Sapp. Honestly, I just played football because it was fun, and I could body slam people legally. A lot of people don't know that you have to take your mind somewhere else to play this game. You got to really have some 
some screws loose, something missing to be, a, especially be a defensive lineman in the NFL, because you just always hitting it. So you got to take your mind somewhere else on game day to play. I should be the hardest playing guy on the field. So when I'm running and slamming this guy and throwing that guy and clubbing this guy and doing all this, it's because I don't ever want to feel like I took guys' gift and talents for granted. So when I'm out there playing, I can be friendly. I can be a nice guy, help guys up. But when that whistle blows or when that ball is snapped, I don't know nobody out here. I don't have no friends, and you got to go. I think the game should be played a certain way, and that's with a lot of violence, you know, within the, within the rules. When I was blessed enough to be drafted in this great league we call the NFL, the ultimate goal is to win the Lombardi Trophy. Winning the Lombardi Trophy is great, but winning the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award is the ultimate goal for me. Not for the recognition, but because it means that I'm doing that much in the community and I'm being that selfless to help change that many more people's lives, man. It's a part of me. I seen it growing up. My mom did it. My foundation is named after my mother, the Patricia Diane Foundation, and it targets single parent homes because that's what I grew up seeing. My mother was a single parent before she met my dad. Uh, all my aunties at some point, I seen them be single parents. I grew up with a lot of friends. Everybody needs help from somebody. Some people, some more than others. And that's where I come in. I try and help as many people as I can, even if it's just one. If I can change one person's life, mission accomplished. Because I know that what I do is bigger than me. NFL stands for not for long. You know, the average NFL career is 3.2 years. I have to understand the early age and I try and teach rookies and young guys this. It's a business. Never forget that. It is a game that we play within a business. The game aspect of it is on Sundays, but once you realize that the business aspect of it is priority to the business owners, which are the team owners, um, then when things happen like a person getting cut or a person getting released or traded, it won't hit home so much. Football is what I do, it's not who I am. Being an all-pro dad, being an all-pro husband, uh, being an all-pro in the community, it's a, it's a whole, and uh, that's what I want my legacy to be. So we pulling up to the karaoke shop. My family, we just love spending time with one another, so I feel like going to this karaoke shop is perfect gift for my my family, my kids in general, man, they just love to sing and dance. So we have a great time going here and hopefully find a great karaoke system. What's up, man? How you doing, Gerald? Hey, how are you? Angelo. Nice to meet you, man. You got a great shop here. This is wonderful. Yeah, we have uh, many different karaoke systems here. We're the only uh, karaoke shop specialized in only karaoke. Okay. So does this just get better as like as yeah. you go around? It gets. It's get better from small one up to a different level. All these seem pretty cool, but uh, I'm looking for something a tad bigger. We do have a special setup inside here. In here? Just follow me here. All right, let's All right. go. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. All right. There we yeah. go. Now, now, okay, now we, this is Gerald level karaoke. This is one of our professional top of the line karaoke system for you. I kind of got a amazing voice. You mind if I sing a little bit? Sure. Amazing grace, Whoa. how sweet the sound that saved a rich like me. I once was lost, but oh, now it, huh? I'm found. Was blind, nice. but now I. Let's really get it going. Hold on. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. 
Mm. I grew up always uh, being able to just let it go or dance in front of anybody or just have a good time because uh, that's how my dad was. Most of the time, people are not gonna judge you, and if they do, who cares? I need the words again. I am breaking the stereotype that big men can't dance, because I know I can. I should have been on Dance with the Stars years ago. How much do all of this cost? Uh, a pair of speakers, a karaoke amplifier, a two wireless microphone, like this one right here, and a karaoke player. $3,500, sir. I think I'll take it. 3500 Yes, sir. All right, mm -hmm. here we go. All right. Let's get it. Free shipping to you. Free shipping. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, All thank right. You. Enjoy. All right, guys, it's been fun. Got to go to DC, all exclusive, karaoke superstore, tour up the dance floor, and was able to buy my family a state-of-the-art karaoke machine. Now it's time for y'all to get out of here. I gotta get back to practice for this tour. Angelo! Right! Hey, you got the Tootsie Roll? Yeah!